Hello, welcome back to Super Mario Brothers 3. I know we finished the game in the last episode, but there is one thing I kind of want to show. It's not really anything new. Um, oh, <laughs> I just fucking like went into the inventory without saying anything about it. Okay, so um, if you beat the game and then start a new game without turning off the system, obviously, because there's no save function. Uh, then your entire inventory, inventory, yeah, your entire inventory will be uh, stocked with P wings. I'm talking your entire inventory, so that's like what 30 P wings, which is fucking awesome. So if you really wanted to, you could like start a new game and like fly over every level. I mean, not every level, because you only get like 30. But you you get what I mean. You could just. If a level is really giving you a lot of trouble and you just really feel like not doing it, then there you go. You can you can pee wing everything, and that's that's really the 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 glory, the splendor, the the gift of the pee wing is that you can just you never have to come down. Oh, but of course, when you finish the level, it the infinite pee goes away. I'm not ready for the infinite pee to leave me yet. Okay, so for this thing that I wanted to show, I'm just gonna need to do like the first few levels. I'm actually gonna have to go to the fortress. So, shit, I'm, I better not die. Cause I started off with the fucking P-Wing and now I'm like about to die, so. Um, yeah, I have to get to at least the fortress and finish the fortress in order to do this. So bear with me, Um, I think well, I, I don't know if I have to do level four. Level four is the one that is like auto-scrolling, right? Yeah, okay. I need to be in this one. So if we just like play the level like normal. Actually, I didn't go through this level uh, the first time. I did this coin heaven thing. So I guess this is the, this is the first time you get to see this, really. Um, it's, you know, <laughs> pretty standard as far as levels go. So, if you hold down on this white block right here for six seconds, you'll drop into the background and you can actually finish the stage like this. So if you keep running behind there. One toot on this whistle will send you to a faraway land! Oh god, I hope that didn't murder my microphone. Okay, so if we do that, we get the that little whistle there. And then... I'm not gonna do this stupid. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just do this card game. See if we can get it one last time. Cause I did manage to get the star once, like at the very end. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe I can get the mushroom at least. Yeah. All right. <laughs> not like we really needed the the two up anymore, but okay. Enough fucking around. Oh, did I use my pee wing on the stupid card game? <laughs> okay. Um, just gonna bypass all this bullshit. Bypass the stupid atomic waffles. See you later, atomic waffles. See you later, fireballs. Um, so if you fly up here, you can actually um walk around up here. Uh, if you don't have a P wing, don't worry about it. You can uh, if you're already big, you can get a leaf from this box. At which point, you can just run from the the far end of the room and fly up here. No big deal. And if you keep running to the right and press up, you'll go through a secret hidden door, which will grant you another magical warp whistle. And that takes you straight out of the fortress, so you don't even need to you don't even need to fight boom boom. Okay, now if you use the warp whistle, a little tornado will come and kill Mario. No, it'll take you to the warp zone. So uh, from here you can go to world two, three, or four, straight from world one. Um, if you use the warp whistle, I think in world two, then you'll be like on the on the second row there, and you can go to worlds five, six, or seven. At least I think. Don't quote me on that. However, if you have both warp whistles and you use one here on this map screen, it'll take you to the bottom row, and you can go straight to world eight. <laughs> So this is a this is a pretty easy way to just get, you know, do the first few stages of the game and go straight to like the final few levels. 
which is great and all until you realize that you only have six lives and you are probably going to lose them all in World 8 unless you're very skilled or like a speedrunner or something. Well, I guess speedrunners are skilled. I mean, they're not mutually exclusive things. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show is, uh, you know, I just thought that was something worth showing because it's, it's a pretty well-known secret, so it's not like... It's not like I'm claiming to be fucking Sir Francis Drake discovering Mario's secrets over here. But uh, I think it's pretty cool and worth showing. Even though I didn't do it, obviously, in my main playthrough. Anyway, um, that's gonna do it for Mario 3, unless I wanna, for some reason, like, show the remakes or ports or whatever, but uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. Anyway. I have plans for a new series. Um, I'm not going to dis disclose them here. It's going to be a, a nice little secret what it'll be, but um, it'll be worth the wait to find out what it is. Um, and I hope that you all like it, all one of my viewers. So, without any further ado, I'm going to end Super Mario Bros. 3 here, and I will see you in the next series. Thank you for watching. And I will see you then. And for anyone who's curious, yeah, I made it to the end of the level in one go and beat the boomerang guy. Okay, see you next time.